Hi, so it says over here that Rhonda uh, purchased a perpetuity providing payment of one at the beginning of each year, and the perpetuity's McCulloch duration is 30 years. Okay, so how would we find the MACD of our perpetuity, right? Well, the first thing that I do is I assume that there is a level annuity happening, right? Because it's just increasing by one every year if we're finding the numerator of the MACD. So it'd be a level annuity, increasing annuity and a, an increasing unit annuity, that's for one. Also, um, at the same time, it is a due, an annuity due, one providing a payment of um, each year. Another thing is that the denarii consists of the regular present value, so it would simply be an annuity due, right? So if I were to simplify this out, I would find out that this would be one over D because annuity due. And this equation would be uh, one over I, but also times D at the bottom because it's also a do as well. Now, if I were to simplify this out, I would figure out that this whole equation just equals one over I for the max D. And they said that it's 30 years, right? Which means that I equals one over 30. Now, is this to calculate the modified duration of this perpetuity? Well, how could we get from MACD to mod D? We would have to multiply MACD by V to get mod D. So, we know our MACD is 30. We would have to multiply it by V or over one line over the one, one over, one over the effective interest rate. So it would be one plus I or one plus one over 30 to get mod C, right? So let's calculate this. Well, first let's simplify this out. Two, 30. So then it'd be 31 over 30. So then that would mean that 30 over 31, then it would be 30 times 30 divided by 31, which is 29.03, which means that it would make C be 